dos. Just done quite a bit of work getting the video made underneath for you. We'll just see what we've got it running. It does run. There she goes. Now it is a project, I don't think you can drive it away. Once the clutch and the brakes looking at, the handbrake's really good. Lights are fiddling with some of them are working. But just have a quick walk around and then I want to show you how solid it is. Like I said, watch the rest of the video because I've been right underneath it. It's amazing underneath. Let's have a quick look in here. 44,543 miles. You can get the nodding dog on the back seat. Presentable here, it's not immaculate, it's presentable. It's a bit of job I'm doing. Can't do it, I just want to put him back on and stuff. Have a look at these inner cells here, look, this floor is loose. Look at that, it's solid. Look at these floors. Look at that door cell there. Look at these door hinges. Look at the door. The door clip shut. The tiny bit there one's catching on the corner of that door, it's the only bit that's really got a problem on it. Got to look inside here because this t -t tilts back like that. I'm going to use that key in a sec to get in the boot. Floor again. In a cell again. So we'll go down these carpets. And again, look at that inner cell on there. Door edges, door buttons, look at it. different back lights and the smaller back windows that you don't get on the later cars. We'll just knock her off. And there you've got it. So it does want a bit of work. What's the hydraulic clutch and the uh, hydraulic brakes looking at? Look at the video, you'll see we've been underneath and showed you everything's in place. Um, it's one for the collection. It's uh, as far as we know and the paperwork that comes with it and there's a lot states that this car is at number 345 of the first 412 that was manufactured and distributed to dealers and it's believed to be the earliest known surviving ford angular 100e
Okay, so we're underneath the Ford Anglia and um, the reason we're under here is to show you how incredibly clean it is under here. Look at this rear chassis leg here and the corner of that. Well, it meets the bumper, look at this under the back seat here. Bump stops in place, handbrakes here, everything's free on the handbrake. Handbrake actually works very well. Look at those chassis legs. This exhaust's a bit crusty, but it's still got its sticker on it. And as we get down here again, it's difficult to show you everything, but look around that spring anger. You can still see the paint on it all over, obviously. Look kind of under the driver's foot well now. I mean, you can still even see the drain holes in the cells here. Brake pipes look good. The brake pipes all solid there. Under the gearbox and that, we'll just go around here. Look into this front chassis. And that crossbar. And that front chassis. Wheels are turning, brakes may be binding a bit. There's no play in that wheel bearing there. Yeah, brakes binding a bit, but there's no play in the wheel bearing. Have a look down this sill here, look. It's all solid. No play in that wheel bearing either. Oh, crap on the handbrake, look there. Again, there's not much play in that wheel bearing. Look at them solid jacking points. We're right, we've got right down that sill. Up under the inner wings. It's absolutely solid. It's a remarkable car. I can't believe how solid it is, to be honest with you. What a cracking car this is going to be for somebody. There we go. That's the underside of the Ford Anglia.